Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial video. In this video we will focus on importing point clouds and modeling the building based on them. More and more people know and use the 3D laser scanning, which can be used to create a point cloud of a room, an apartment, or even an entire building. Today I will show you, how you can use this point cloud technology in ArchLine XP, for example to survey and model a room. Most point clouds are in E57 and PLY formats, and ArchLine XP can handle both. The 3D laser scanning creates a set of independent points in space, which means it does not build a 3D model, so it cannot be automatically converted into a floor plan. The architect's task with ArchLine XP is to create walls, slabs, and windows after clearing a point cloud. In most cases, it is faster, more accurate and therefore cheaper than a traditional survey. Let's look at the process you need to go through to create a 3D model from a point cloud. The first step is to import the point cloud into ArchLine XP, which can be done by selecting Building Menu, Point Cloud, and Import. Browse the point cloud file and open it. A preview of the point cloud will appear. With the Place button I can place it near the origin. This will create the floor plan and the 3D view of the point cloud. Our next task is to delete the irrelevant points, which we will not work with. I will do this in the floor plan. I will use the building menu, point cloud, crop out command. I will select the point cloud, and the program will inform me. I can define rectangular, polygonal, or circular areas to crop the point cloud on floor plan, or I can remove cropped area. Okay. I accept it and I define the area. This does not need to be completely correct, because we are only deleting irrelevant points that we will not use. I want to work with this section, so I'll select it. In the floor plan, points beyond the selection will turn pale grey, and in 3D they will disappear. Now we will create a slab to help us set the floor height. I will use the slab, slab in sketch mode command in the building menu in the floor plan. I'll specify the point cloud. Our slab is completed, let's take a look at the 3D view. Switch to front view. Here we can move the point cloud vertically to identify the floor height. If we zoom in, we can see that the point cloud is positioned a little higher than the slab. This has to be moved down in the vertical direction. I select the point cloud, and choose edit, move, move command. I specify the bottom plane of the point cloud and start moving it down to the top plane of the slab. That's it. Let's continue with filter horizontal plane, what makes the walls visible, so we can easily create them in the floor plan. This filtering is done in the 3D view. I reset the axonometry view and then select building menu, point cloud, filter horizontal plane. I select the point cloud. The horizontal filter is created, which I can move by clicking on the black arrow. As I move it, you can see that the points above it disappear from the 3D. I set it so that the ceiling is nowhere to be seen. I accept with enter and give the filter name, let it be the ceiling. I also give the range, the thickness of the filter, which is 6000 mm. The range defines the distance down from the filter, that we can see the point clouds. I accept it and all unnecessary points disappear. The range can be modified afterwards. Let's see how we can filter the point cloud further by specifying a smaller section, so that only the area around the walls is visible. This can also be found in the point cloud menu. The filter regions command selects the point cloud. Here we can see the filter we have already placed. I change it to 1000 mm, click on the apply button and the program updates it. I accept it, and this is how we will work in it now. To see this filter on the floor plan, we need to update it. I go back to the floor plan. I right click on the point cloud and select refresh floor plan. On the resulting clean view, we can easily create the walls. I create the walls using the wall command, 
select a 12 cm wide wall style and draw around the point cloud. Here I edit the path. When you have finished creating the walls, you can adjust the height of the walls graphically in the 3D. Let's see how we can do this. I select the wall, click on the square marker and select change height, then drag it up to the top of the point cloud. If I turn off the object snap, the mouse won't jump, and I can easily navigate to the top of the point cloud. The height can also be modified afterwards by selecting the wall and rewriting the height in the height section on the left. This is now 3900 mm. If you want to set the same height for all other walls, you can do this by clicking on copy properties at the top. I delete all the check marks and select only the height. Hit OK, then select all the walls in the 3D and press Enter. The program raises all the walls to a height of 3,900 mm. In the last step we will place windows. To do this, we need to reset the filtering to see the full height of the point cloud as well as the windows. I select the point cloud, then click on the filter regions icon in the point cloud menu and change the thickness of the section to 6,000 mm. Click on apply or OK to accept. To be able to place windows. I will save a view inside the model. To create the view, I will click on the eye icon and navigate to the interior. Here I will save the view by clicking on the plus button. I will place the three windows here. Click on the window menu, property to set the type of window you want to place. Let's select a double window, such as this two leaves center trimmed one. Use the placing window command to place the two windows on this wall. I mirror these because the handles are on the outside. Next I'll resize them, by clicking on the square marker, I'll select change size. I change the width and height of both windows. We can specify the size of the windows by selecting them, and rewriting their width to 2300 mm, and their height to 1200 mm. When it's done, let's create the door. I'll select the placing door command and place the door. First we'll change the size graphically. Then we can specify the size of the door on the left side, rewrite the height to 2100 mm, and the width to 850 mm. Once you have finished creating all the architectural elements, you can turn off the point cloud. Select the point cloud by right clicking on it. If the point cloud is not selected, choose the first command. Now you see the menu of the point cloud, choose the hide this object command. The point cloud is gone in the 3D, we will only see the 3D model we created. Now we can continue designing the finished building model as usual. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a nice day. Bye.